up some speed, yeah. Pick it up some speed. Roller blade, zitra blade. That's how I'm about to be looking right there, y'all. <laughs> Hopefully I don't fall and bust my face. Big old box looking like a TV box. They're just a size 12, but I guess there are roller blades in here. Let's bust it open and see what we got going. These were kind of hard to find in person. Little parts so you could uh, adjust your blades, take the uh, break off if you want to and everything. They pretty straightforward, you know what I'm saying? Look nice, feel nice. Soft shoe at the top. I know I saw a bunch of people talking about differences between uh, the soft boots and the hard boots and everything, but it ain't that serious. Just starting back out, I got roller skates. So I can do that, no problem. So let's see if that translates over to roller blade. 80 millimeter wheel, 82A. So they're a little bit on the softer side, but we'll see how long these wheels last. All right, so here go T-Blades that she got off Amazon. Wow. They uh her wheels light up and stuff. First thoughts upon lacing them up. These feel pretty comfortable, but I've never had a high-end brand of rollerblades, so I don't really have anything to compare it to. I ain't gonna hold it. But that's exactly the kind of review this is. It's coming from somebody who just wanna, you know, skate a little bit. There might be other people that have more experience, but they also probably a little bit more jaded with the higher end products out there that's to be had for probably three, four times the cost too though. But I think there's some de decent uh, skates out there for around the 200, 300 mark that are probably a nice little upgrade to stuff. Maybe not that much more, but definitely more to say the least. But on first spin, they feel decent. I wear a size 12 and shoe and these feel like I got a little bit extra room, but in a good way. I know sometimes they say you want them to be stuck, but I don't personally. Personally. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they'll loosen up too much, more than what I would like. Maybe. True to size in comparison to the shoes that I wear. One thing I could say early is that I need some JL soles to go in these or something because it ain't too much support in the foot area. The cushion just must be a little flap or something, but for somebody my size, I weigh about 227 right now. Ooh. My feet are already hurting a little bit, so. Yeah, be aware, if you got these, they ain't got a terrible amount of cushion in them. Maybe if you lighter, it might feel a little bit better, but just a FYI. Uh-oh, picking up some speed, yeah. <laughs> picking up some speed. Uh-oh. We zoom out here. <laughs> but yeah, I would definitely advise if you, um, if you ain't comfortable, definitely wear a helmet, gear, and all that. Cause you can definitely Tear something up real fast. Oh, Still got it though. Still got it. T and Jace doing their thing right there. He's safely on four wheels, so he should be alright. coordination if you skated before in the past even if you just skate on roller skates and you did pretty good you'll probably do all right on rollerblades it don't take that long to uh skate but then again when i was young i skated a lot i used to skate every friday at the skating ring so then again i might have like kind of a biased view on how easy it is or isn't to skate but honestly i feel like most people could pick it up within a day are you feeling in your ability are you feeling more confident Duh. When you want to stop, you just do like that. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> T 
she's practicing her T-stop right now. T-stop if you're unaware. You just turn your feet like that basically. Either foot, don't matter. But just do a T. So when you coast, you just drag the other skate behind like that. <laughs> and you stop. <laughs> tell her, Jay. He's trying to tell you how to do it. There's some more. <laughs> That's typically what I do stop. So if you go like that, and you just turn like that. Boom. Stop. Oh, okay. You can be like, can you teach me? Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh, she gone, y'all. She don't know how to stop. Should I save her? Should I save her? That was coming to save you. Either that he gonna trip you up. Oh, she turned around. Oh my God. Oh my God. How does it feel having your life just flash before your eyes? Man, there's nothing you can do. It's like, I mean, I could've just dropped, stopped dropping the road, but you know. Man, get a little speed going down this hill. Just a little bit. <laughs> hey Mark, you sit, go. <laughs> Champion! <laughs> the champ is here! <gasps> that, that, that was a see. That was a draw. No. We're gonna bring you it back. We're gonna play you, it. Bro. <laughs> he was behind me. Okay, so the Zeta Blades, pretty good. Not bad. A little uncomfortable for me, but not bad. I'm debating about if I'm going to keep these or get another pair. But I'd say for most beginners, these will do all right for you. They'll do all right. They'll get the job done. I'm about 227 pounds right now. I don't know if it's a weight limit. I think it, I saw somewhere they might be 225 is the weight limit. So I might need to put some insoles in these bad boys to make them feel... Uh, suitable for my feet because they hurt a little bit but outside of that they feel pretty good they coast pretty good on the asphalt and then like in the driveway or well, like on a uh, outdoor walkway they'll feel pretty good pretty good so good coast not too fast not too slow feel pretty good to me Everybody in my family be cheating in races. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, it's been your boy Q. Peace. <laughs>